So I've just got some sprays out, uh, some Lindy Stamp Gang and Moonshadow Mist and Starburst Spray. And I am going to, I didn't just sew this page at all <clears throat> because um, I like the way the Lindy's looks on um, watercolor paper that's not been just sewed. Now I did just sew my inclusion because it's a time card inclusion so it looks like that right there. So I did want to just sew that. Um, so I'm going to have two different kind of looks here um, with my sprays because this is going to be a gessoed surface and this is not. I'm going to start with my, um, hmm, I'm going to start with the Moonshadow Mist in Violaceous Violet. Oh man. Okay, maybe not because this... Hello. Already clogged up on me. I know I have mentioned it a gazillion times, but man, those sprayers just piss me off so bad. All right, I gotta find another color now, and I want a moon shadow mist because I want the brown that's in it. So, um, ugh. Bucket of Blood Red really wasn't the color I wanted to go with, but okay, we're just going to go with it. Man, this sprayer's starting to clog up too. Okay, now I'm going to take the Gator Gumbo Olive. get the mica mixed up in it. It's totally stuck to the bottom. I haven't used these in a while, so. Erg. I should have shaken these before I hit the record button. Okay. It's beating up on the gessoed side, and I like the way it lays on the surface that's not gessoed. Okay, and then I'm going to go over the entire surface with the Pirate's Plunder Gold. This isn't as dark a surface as I wanted it to be. Maybe I'll go over it with something else. I really wanted that surface to be darker. Hmm. All right, we'll just see. This is experimentation. Yeah, that's really not going to do it for me. Okay, uh, now what? I'm totally stumped. I guess... I'm going to throw an Adirondack color wash in here just to darken it up some. I... Here, I'll use espresso. That's going to cover up everything. So, come back in with the Lindy Stamp Gang. Over with this gold. <laughs> uh, yeah, this didn't turn out exactly the way I thought it was going to. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I'm not crazy about the background, but I'm gonna go with it. So, what I'm gonna do now is I have this texture tread by Ranger. And um, it's for the melt art um, line, but um, I am going to use this as a stamp. Now, with these texture treads, and this is like a peacock feather. That's not the name of it. It's something else feather. I think fancy 
feathers or something like that <clears throat> is the technical term of this te tread but it looks like um peacock feathers anyway um and the treads are split in half you have a negative on one side and a positive on another so you get a negative imprint when you're using it on the you know melt art and um since i'm going to use this as a stamp it's going to be the same way so i'm going to have two different looks and i'm just going to do this whole um page in the background just stamping all over it <coughs> excuse me Ugh. now to spread the paint I am going to take, um, oh, and I'm using Golden's Turquoise Follow, and I'm just going to squeeze it out in this plastic packaging that I use as a paint palette, and I'm going to brayer this. So I'm going to take my brayer and... get it really good and inked up and then I'm going to do the same thing with my stamp oops this is why I didn't want to do it over my work surface <laughs> eh. because I wound up getting it on here and I didn't want it on there all right <clears throat> and then I'm just going to go all over I don't know how this is going to turn out. And the only thing I don't like, I probably should have just gone on the inside edges because I don't really like that um, line of demarcation right there. Is that what you call it? Demarcation? But anyway, you can see like the visible lines. Yeah, I don't like that at all. Yeah, actually, I kind of hate that. Okay. That was an epic failure. I gotta rethink, so I'll be back. Well, since that was a disastrous, epic failure, what I did is I took my brayer and used up the um, rest of that paint just to cover the entire surface. So all that spraying that I did was for Neil. So, I had decided that I am going to use hot glue to do trails all over my page. Contadina K. I think that's her name here on YouTube. Um, she uses this a lot. So, this is just a really good place for me to experiment with this because I've been wanting to do this on a canvas, but I haven't done any canvases lately because I've been in my crafty mode of doing other albums and stuff so <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this uh, hmm just kind of doing it organically just wherever it goes it goes oh you know what I should probably do this on my inclusion as well Ooh, that uses a lot of hot glue. <laughs> I went through a whole stick and now I'm going into the second stick. Alright, I think that's it. I think that's all I'm going to do. I've got glue strings everywhere now. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry and... I'll be back. Okay, so this is dry. I'm going to take gesso and find a really big brush. 
and go over the entire thing with just so. And let it dry and I'll be back. Now I'm going to try to lift some of that color, the color, some of the uh, gesso back up. I got it on there pretty thick. So I am just going to sit here and work at this and I was trying to avoid the glue lines because I want the um, just so to stay on those glue lines it's really hard to get paint to stick unless you have the gesso on there so I don't know how much of this I'm gonna be able to get up without interfering with those glue lines but I'm gonna sit here and work this for a while and I'll be back alright I'm kinda of all over the board with this thing now I'm going to take a um, Prima stencil and some modeling paste and with my palette knife I want to go in just some of these areas here and add some more texture. I think I'm going to have it go off the page there and I'm not going to do the whole page. I think I'm just going to do in this section, this section, and this section. The only thing that stinks about these Prima stencils is they're all connected. I'm just going to kind of follow the curve of where the hot glue is. Like so. And then finish up right here. And I could have made this video a lot shorter by editing out where I screwed up in the very beginning but I kind of wanted to go through the process of if you know showing how when I when me for me anyway when I make a mistake the process of going through trying to f fix a mistake so anyway so yeah this is probably gonna be a long video okay now I'm gonna let that uh, dry and I'll be back Okay, now I'm going to come in with a couple of the smooch spritzes and back to the sprays. And I'm just going to Wow. <laughs> awesome. Well, guess what? These suck too. Ugh. Oh. Are there any sprays on the market that don't clog up? Man. Well, okay. Now what? I guess I'm going to try another color. That's so frustrating, man. These are messy too. All right, let's see if this one will. Okay, then where is my water? Okay, taking a spray bottle with some water. I'm just going to let that drizzle down. Pretty much not even going to be able to see that. Blue anymore.
I got a nice soupy mess going on here. Oh my God, for real? <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna go back in with some more of that spray because I like this look right through here. And I kinda wanna keep So I'm kind of manipulating it. Just a little bit anyway. You know what? And just a little bit more. It keeps going spray is kind of not oh forget it I don't know what I'm trying to say I do but I can't verbalize it okay I'm just gonna mop up some of this not to mention my mess I think I'm going to have to go in with one more color and I don't know what that's going to be because I don't really like how I can see where I lifted up that color with the paper towel so everything else about this I like though so I'll be back so that embossing paste really uh, modeling paste whatever really um, took that spray soaked up a lot of that spray so okay so this is still kind of wet um i'm gonna go in with some ink gold in uh what is this copper and copper <sighs> you know what i have a couple of colors out actually i have this um old silver i was actually going to try that first because i don't know what color Oh, yeah, that's not going to work. Nope. And then I had this um, still blue out because I thought maybe I'd use that to bring up the blue. Oh, I haven't even used this. Okay. I'm going to watch me cut myself. Okay. And I'll probably just wind up using the copper because I don't, I don't know if I'm going to like this. I thought I would use this blue because that was kind of the color I started out with in this page. Well, after I did the cover up anyway. I'm just making a big old mess. Okay. <laughs> I guess I have to be a little bit more careful with this. Alright, so I'm going to finish with this and do some cleanup here and I'll be back. Okay, well, for the sake of time, I went ahead and laid out some of the Tim Holtz stickers and uh, cut black chipboard uh, letters out of my Sizzix with, with the Sizzix alphabet. And I've already adhered all that down. And I did use some matte medium just to set these stickers so that they don't lift up because they have a tendency to do that on painted pages. So. Um, and I think that's all I did off camera. Um, yeah. So now, all I'm going to do 
all that's left is to just kind of frame this out. I think the uh, title is pretty appropriate. Just go with the flow, considering that's exactly what I had to do with this page. I think my wax paper has had it underneath. <laughs> so, okay. And then all that's left is I'm going to stick my date tag somewhere. I don't know where I want it. Brother kind of hard to figure out because of the yeah, I'm just gonna stick it there well kind of don't want it there because it's covering the texture so I'm just gonna stick it right there all right oh boy <laughs> I got a painty mess over here. Wow. Get that out of the way. So you can see it here. Let me get that turned over. So I like the way this turned out um, because I like the um, texture that the glue gun added. Um, the modeling paste, eh. Not so much, but um, I do like the glue gun look on that. So there's like a close up, if you can see that. I don't know. Oh, maybe that's better. See the texture that way. I really, really like that kind of texture. I think I may start using that on pages more. But anyway, so there is my page, journal page for today. So. I will see you guys later.